everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sunday Inspiration. This is a collaboration video with none other than Betty Scrap Passion 01. If you guys have been following us, you know that we have this series on Sundays, every other Sunday. And um, today we will be sharing with you some more scrapbook layouts. If you missed last uh, Sunday's inspiration, <laughs> you missed a treat because we have been getting back to the basics, guys. If you've been following me, you have heard me say that scrapbooking has been my number one go-to um, when I needed to relax or I needed, you know, some crafty therapy. I always tend to go back to scrapbook layouts. And so I have been playing with my silhouette and also my Cricut expression. That's my baby, my love. I've had her for a long time. Um, the, the cameo is a little new. I've had it for over for about a year, but I have not um, just tapped into the resources, guys. So I am trying to learn my cameo a little better. But let's just talk about today's inspiration um, Sunday. So I'm going to read you just a small tidbit from this um, devotional and journal here. I got this from a secret um, sister at my church. And so I'm only going to focus on this little um, verse here, or it's actually just a little quote. And I'm going to read that. Um, this topic was talking about unique expressions. And it says, God can appreciate our differences and still create unity. Together we produce a sound of harmony that expresses the multifaceted character of God. Isn't that awesome? It doesn't matter what uh, background you come from. God is just so awesome that he can produce greatness in you. So I love, love, love that. So let's just jump in uh, to the layouts, guys. And let me just put this disclaimer out there. I have been on a staycation, yes, a staycation this week, and um, I have been able to, you know, push out some layouts, and so I'm super glad I just been in my crafty zone. Um, I guess Mojo decided to come sit and play with me for a little while, and so, yeah, so the very first one I'm going to share with you is this one here, and this is just a one-page layout. I normally like to do two-page layouts, but... This one just spoke for itself. It says, I love you tons. I cut that out of my silhouette. And this is my little sweet Paris. You guys know Paris. She had her little glasses on and she thought she was super cool. And so <laughs> look at her. I mean, she posing and everything, guys. And so I just put some stickers here and just layered some paper. Really simple. Um, I did some stitching around the faux stitching actually around the top and bottom layer of this layout here. I love, love, love this layout. The second one is this one here. And this one says smooches. <laughs> I love the little cows there. And I kind of played off her shoes there, guys. Um, but uh, I love this one. She was tiny. I want to say she probably was about six months here maybe um and i just you know cut this cow out on my cricket expression cut this image out on my silhouette and yeah just just did some faux stitching i you, <laughs> i love creating faux stitching around there because uh i don't pull out my sewing machine like i should i know but i love it love it love it and so that's that one and then here goes my two spread layouts. And so this one is the first one. And sorry about the glare. I love creating these borders here. And so it says making spirits bright, have little Santa, some little stockings there. And they're kind of popped up on some um, dimensional um, tape there. And look at her. <laughs> so cute. I really, really enjoyed this layout here. Um, again, I, I actually did a little journaling on this one and it was, this was Christmas 2015. And I said, you were such a sweet baby. I really enjoy watching you destroy the photo props. <laughs> that smile was priceless. Nana poo. That's what I call her. My Nana poo. So again, yeah, you can see if you've ever took toddlers to have pictures made, uh, they don't sit still. So she was playing with her feet here. She actually picked up the little um, prop there and just started playing with it. And then she had this little hat she was playing with. And actually, guys, I did these photos myself. So, um, yeah, she kind of destroyed that. So <laughs> that's the first one. 
And I'm really glad that I was able to also go ahead and put photos on these um, layouts here. And here is the other one to that. It says Holly Jolly Christmas. Here she is again. And then down there, look at that little lip. So stinking cute. And then I just added some stickers here, some little pine cone dimensionals from a sticker pack, and then some ephemera pieces here. Love how I can add ephemera to actually bring the layouts together. And then this says Christmas photos. So that's the second um, set to that one. And then, oh, this one was so fun to create. Oh my gosh, this one is my other grandson, Steven. Look at him. Oh, he is so super cute. <laughs> so he is my little sweet baby. And guys, guess what? I decided to do some Terror Bears. I know, I'm, I'm finally joining the bandwagon. Um, I've had my little stuff for a while and I just decided to do them. But what I decided to do was to use the die. So this is the Pekin Bear die there. And um, yeah, that was so easy. I just cut it out and then just fluffed it a little bit, added some chalk and the little eyes. And yeah, there you go. So I have the little peeking. I love how it turned out. The little peeking tear bear there. And then again, here is another little tear bear I created using another die. So I'm actually loving um, using the dies um, to you to do. You can use the templates and um, Betty actually have a tutorial on how to do these. And um, but I just tried out the, the um, dies and I like using the dies because it was super easy and super quick. And so this is a little tiny um, little tear bear here that I created and I just added a little rattle there. And then down here, this little crawling um, baby here, I um, took this off of my Cricut cartridge, uh, my Cricut or whatever. And so I created this little crawly and I love this photo. This is my son holding um, his son and I just love how she captured that in the photo session. And we lit to one cause he was just probably at a day old on this picture here, but he was so alert. So that's the first set to that one. And then here is the second set to that one. Oh, and he just so sweet. <laughs> As you know, guys, if you follow me, I love my grandchildren. And so here is another little image. I cut out this little bed off my Cricut cartridge. Um, I used the um, Pekin Santa. These are cottage uh, cuts dies. And what I did was I used uh, some of the Tear Bear here for the muzzle and the ears there. And then again, this is from my Cricut cartridge and just added some stickers. That's it. And put this little title here, it's a boy. And so I love, love, love this layout. It came out super cute. So I'm gonna have to play with some Terror Bears a little bit more. And then this one here, this is my son, Steven, the, the, the one son. He graduated last year. And so, yes, I'm, I'm, no, I'm late, I'm late, but I am trying to get caught up. And so I picked this here up, this mat um, that says senior here from the convention um, last year. And so I'm finally able to use it. And so this was simple. I cut this little graduate out here on my silhouette and yeah, this here, this was a bittersweet day, but um, it was sweet because it was his day of his graduation, but it was also marks the day that my dad passed on the same day. So yeah, we had to push through it and we did it and I was so super proud of my son. So here's the first part of that layout there. And then on this one, I kept it really simple. I cut this congratulations out on my silhouette. And then all I did was add it, you know, like the commencement ceremony there. And then of course, um, additional pictures here because you don't always have to um, scrapbook everything. Um, so I just tucked those in there and I really, really like how this turned out. So that is all of my layouts, guys. I had fun. I had a blast. I hope you guys will start um, doing some layouts more. I think layouts have kind of died out. <laughs> Many people don't really do layouts or it's just not their thing, but it's just a sweet way to capture memories. And so don't forget to go over and check out Betty's channel and see what she um, created for you guys. I will have all of the links down in the description box. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you guys won't miss any of the Sunday inspiration guys we have hidden giveaways and everything else that we like to do so thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you on the next Sunday inspiration bye